Captain Abraham Chor's approach to governance in Burkina Faso represents a significant shift from the country's previous reliance on France and other Western powers. Since taking office in 2022, Tror has emphasized the importance of preserving Burkina Faso's sovereignty and autonomy, challenging the notion of continued reliance on former colonial powers. His decision to distance himself from France and other Western countries reflects a desire to break free from the perceived shackles of imperialism and assert Burkina Faso's independence on the international stage. Tror's criticism of France's role in addressing Burkina Faso's security challenges demonstrates his commitment to putting the country's interests ahead of external influences. Tror has signaled his willingness to chart a new course for Burkina Faso's security strategy by openly acknowledging the shortcomings of French military assistance in combating the long-running anti-jihadist insurgency. This stance has not gone unnoticed by Western powers, who have expressed dissatisfaction with Tror's efforts to assert Burkina Faso sovereignty and reduce reliance on foreign intervention. The Western response to Tror's call for greater independence has been marked by efforts to undermine his leadership and tarnish his image. Western powers, including France, have reportedly attempted to discredit Tror through a variety of tactics, including propaganda campaigns and diplomatic pressure. These efforts reflect the West's dissatisfaction with Tror's rejection of traditional power dynamics and insistence on guiding Burkina Faso towards self-determination. As Tror continues to assert Burkina Faso's independence on the global stage, tensions between his administration and Western powers are likely to persist, highlighting the difficulties of navigating international relations in a post-colonial context. Many Pan-Africanists, including Patrice Lumumba, Muammar Gaddafi, and Thomas Sankara, were assassinated as they fought for the continent's independence and freedom from colonialism. Their primary concerns were to prepare Africa for economic and socio-political independence from Western intervention. Their ideas and actions posed a significant challenge to Western influence, and they were frequently targeted even before their demise. The West is now supporting Abraham Tror due to the same issue. Tror is following in the footsteps of his predecessor, Thomas Sankara, a Marxist revolutionary who led Burkina Faso in the 1980s. Sankara worked tirelessly to make his country independent and free of Western dominance, just as Tror is doing today. Tror, 35, is the world's youngest president and is currently building Burkina Faso's first gold refinery. Ina has worked tirelessly to protect Burkinbai's resources from foreign exploiters. According to him, the West should be forced to pay fair market value for these natural resources, which will help Burkina Faso rise out of poverty and achieve true independence. The West does not want this. They want to keep Burkina Faso under their control and continue implementing her policies. A recent military coup in Burkina Faso was thwarted in January, and France, the United Kingdom, and the United States undoubtedly planned it to quell the wind of freedom blowing across Africa. How much longer will promising African leaders be terminated? When Tror was inaugurated as president, he expelled all French forces from Burkina Faso for supporting terrorism and causing unrest. He dropped French as the official language in favor of local languages. Ibrahim Tror has survived seven assassination attempts. From 2023 to the present, reportedly orchestrated by the West, with the most recent occurring in February 2024. It was alleged that some soldiers and activists from the country who were involved received funding for one of the attempts. The country's intelligence and security services have repeatedly thwarted coup attempts against Tror and his rulers, indicating that Western plans have failed. Burkina Faso's military rulers claim that foreign officers and others plan to seize power and throw the country into chaos. Many Africans and non-Africans have used social media to condemn Western countries' tarnishing of Abraham Tror's image. Tror attempted to form a coalition with Mali and Niger as part of a West African neighbor within the Federation. These countries' military leaders signed a defense pact in mid-September of last year. Some pro-French media outlets in Burkina Faso were suspended for attempting to tarnish the image of the ruling military regime. Many of them claimed that there was discontent and tension in the armed forces, which turned out to be false. France does not want to leave Burkina Faso alone, 
Keep in mind that violence has increased under Chor's rule. In fact, Burkina Faso has become the focal point of the crisis in the Sahel region, a vast expanse of land shaken by extremist warnings and military coups. The United Nations and other aid agencies are being used as propaganda tools by the West. It should be noted that in December, Chor expelled Barbara Manzi, the country's top UN official, and asked her to leave immediately. Foreign Minister Olivia Rwanda stated on state television that Manzi had raised concerns about insecurity in the capital, Ouagadougou, without providing any evidence, despite the fact that the proclamation requesting her removal did not specify a reason. Local and international aid groups have accused both extremists and government-affiliated forces of killing civilians in Burkina Faso. Last year, the U.S. Department expressed concern about Burkina Faso's military government's actions, such as the increased use of targeted force conscriptions, shrinking civic space, and restrictions on political parties. It went on to say that these actions have the cumulative effect of silencing people who work on behalf of their country to promote democracy. There have been reports of Burkina Bay civilians being kidnapped and forced to join Western nations in their fight against their homeland. Human rights activists Razmin Zinaba and Bazar Rubato, as well as journalist Isaka Lingani, who were apprehended in December, received a favorable ruling from a court in Ouagadougou, the capital. The court sided with them and ruled that the orders were illegal. Despite the ruling, the three are still in hiding, fearing for their lives. Burkina Faso is one of a growing number of West African countries where the military has taken control. Many Burkinaves have greeted Chor's security pledge with enthusiasm. The streets of Ouagadougou have been decorated with Russian flags and banners bearing patriotic messages. If Chor is the cause of violence, it is for the benefit of his people. He has actively sought international support, bolstering partnerships with regional forces and engaging in diplomatic efforts to address the root causes of instability. In a positive move, Burkina Faso received the first shipment of cutting-edge weapons under its new strategic equipment plan, a development that indicates a major improvement in its military capabilities. Though the West claims that violence will only make people more frustrated and inclined to join terrorist organizations, they are attempting to tarnish Chor's reputation at any cost. In an interview with some media against the backdrop of tensions with France, Chor stated that his country, Burkina Faso, is not an enemy of the French people, but rather of their policies. France withdrew troops from its former colonies in response to mounting hostility after Captain Chor seized power in September 2022, becoming the world's youngest leader outside of royalty. Chor's arrival has raised people's hopes as he faces a tense security situation that his predecessor, Paul Henry Danaba, was unable to resolve until the end. The newly acquired arsenal was unveiled on January 12th, with President Captain Ibrahim Tror preside over the ceremony. He met Russian President Vladimir Putin during the Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg in July 2023, and they discussed development and collaboration. The government has continued to seek a foreign alliance with Russia, prompting speculation that the Kremlin-backed Wagner Group may begin operations in the country. He is even constructing a nuclear plant in collaboration with Russia. African and French observers say that, faced with difficulties, France is finally abandoning its post-colonial tradition of Franc Afrique, a term that connotes paternalistic influence and more self-assured Africa looks elsewhere. Tror urges African heads of state to stop being manipulated by imperialists, arguing that the continent can prosper by leveraging its abundant natural resources to create a more vibrant continent. Given Chor's commitment to making Africa more independent and less reliant on foreign aid, some of these inspirations may be triggered by the West. Traer is regarded as a great leader who no one dares to confront, in addition to his close relationship with Putin. As their economic and political power dwindles, elites engage in quiet deal-making. Anyone who attempts to bring him down will face the consequences from Russia. He places high value on Burkina Faso's development. The realities of the job on the ground demonstrate how much progress has been made. The roads were previously hazardous, narrow, and in poor condition. However, due to Captain Ibrahim Chor's dedication, this reality has changed significantly. Presidents Nana Akufo Addo of Ghana, William Ruto of Kenya, 
Paul Kagam of Rwanda, and Uremius Feni of Uganda are among the African leaders who have faced threats from the West over the years due to their rejection of pro-Western cultures and identities. Their political agenda is defined by nationalistic approaches aimed at reducing reliance on foreign aid, particularly Western aid. After repeated military interventions in its former colonies in recent years, the era of France and the West as Africa's gendarme may be over. French President Macron's predecessors, including Francois Hollande, Nicolas Sarkozy, Jacques Chirac, and Francois Mitterrand, had all launched new French military operations on the African continent. Macron did not. According to him, France should focus on training and equipping Allied forces. President Ibrahim Chor's military government has expanded its international relationships, including with Russia, Iran, and Venezuela. Chor's interests in the continent often be fiercely defended and protected by Africans. As no white man will come directly to assassinate Africans, true sons and daughters of Africa must make every effort to identify and deal with any traitors among them. Instead, it should be Africans versus themselves. The West will stop dictating what is good or bad for Africa. Do you think the West will succeed in tarnishing Chor's image? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications too so you get notified whenever we upload videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.